Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing excellent. We're going to read from Acts 19. And one of the most fascinating people to read about is Paul. Now, Paul's original name was Saul. And he actually helped to kill Christians. And uh, he miraculously was blinded by Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, bright light blinds him and speaks to Saul and says, Saul, it is hard for you to kick against the goads. The goads are like spurs. And basically, Christ uh, was saying to Saul, by you persecuting the church, you're really just hurting yourself. You're kicking against the spurs, kicking against the goads. So Paul obviously becomes a believer. And uh, his name's Saul, and he, his name is changed to Paul because he is a changed person. It is interesting that Paul has a run-in because... There are people that are into paganism, idol worship, and they're making good money off of it in the Bible here. But Paul is preaching the true God, and people are converting to Christianity. So Paul has a problem here because he's affecting their business of commerce. So watch this. We're going to start off, uh, Paul, it says, uh, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them. Now watch what he says. <clears throat> He's going to ask them if they've received the Holy Ghost since they've become believers. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. <clears throat> and he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about twelve. So now it gets good. Watch this. <clears throat> And he went, talking about Paul, into the synagogue and spake boldly. So Paul's going in and he's not, you know, all timid. and so He is speaking boldly for three months, it says. Now, <clears throat> when he's going in there, he is disputing, it says, and persuading. So it is good as a Christian if something's errored to dispute it. I know some people don't like dispute. Um, or persuading, but this is what Paul's doing. He's disputing the errors, and he's persuading people to the truth, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. There's nothing wrong with that. It, but when divers were hardened and believed not, so some people reject Paul's message, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and salvation is only through him, so what they do is they start speaking evil of Paul. It says, but when divers were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them. And look what Paul does. And separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one Tyrannus. <clears throat> so Paul's here talking to them. They don't believe, right? And it gets worse. It says, and this continued by the space of two years. So that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. Now, what's when I say it gets worse, is he Paul gets more and more conflict just by speaking words. And this is just evidence that the words have power. Because watch what happens. <clears throat> um, this part is actually kind of funny. It says, Then certain of the vagabond Jews like the fringe you know, group of Jews that aren't really close to Paul and his disciples, certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits. The name of the Lord Jesus saying, We adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preacheth. Notice what they're saying. Well, what happens is these demons don't have any respect for these vagabond Jews. And they beat the living daylights out of these Jews that are trying to, the demons do, trying to exercise. And look, it says, And there were seven sons, 
uh, it says the Jew and chief priest which did so. And the evil spirit answered. So they're trying to cast out this demon. And the, the spirit says, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but who are you? And then all hell breaks loose, okay, literally. It says, and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. So this they're trying to do demon uh, exorcism here. And the spirit is overcoming them and even winning them in a like fist fight. It says, and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them overcame them and prevailed against them. Basically, they're <laughs> look what it says. So that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. I mean, he that demon beat them to a pulp. Because they were not really rooted and grounded in God's word. They were just like, I mean, you could tell because he says, We adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preacheth. Notice it's not their Jesus, it's the one, <laughs> they don't know Jesus, it's the one whom Paul preacheth, right? Even the demon says, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Like, look, you have no power. <clears throat> now, what happens is Paul starts speaking out against paganism and idol worship. And watch what happens. It says, And many believed, came and confessed, and showed their deeds. Many of them, here we go, this is where all hell breaks loose again, many of them also, which used curious arts, brought their books together, hmm, wonder what they're talking about, and burned them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So they're burning all their, uh, you know, witchcraft, paganism, all these type of books, you know, that they have. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. So you think that's good news, right? But watch, there's always people that don't want the truth. Now it says, for a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana. Diana's, uh, here's a picture of Diana right here. I'm gonna have to do it sideways because my camera is like that. Diana of the Ephesians, a pagan goddess, false goddess. Watch what it says. A certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith made the shrines of Diana. Well, we know where this is going. Brought no small gain under the craftsman. In other words, he's making good money making these altars and these shrines right so he calls together all the workmen of that occupation and said sir you know by this craft we have our wealth moreover you see and hear that not alone at ephesus but almost throughout all asia here he goes look at the troublemaker this paul hath persuaded and turned away much people saying that they be no gods which are made with hands you see that paul's preaching the truth saying hey, these idols aren't have no power these altars and these idols, you know, that you have, there are no gods which are made with hands. But they're mad. These other guys are mad because it's affecting their business. They don't care about the souls of the people. They care about that money, you see. That's what these pagans were caring about. Now watch what happens. So that not only this, our craft is in danger to be set at naught. Notice they put that first. Oh, and then they go, oh yeah, and then the goddess, right? But also that the temple of the great goddess, Diana, should be despised and her magnificence should be destroyed whom all Asia and the world worshipeth. Now, watch what happened. They're, they're, they're thinking about the money, right? And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. And the whole city was filled with confusion. And having... So, basically what happens, they go to this theater where Paul is preaching the gospel, and it says... Um, so they go there, and Paul's companions are in travel. They rush with one accord into the to the theater and when Paul would have entered in unto the people the disciples suffered him not in other words like Paul you better not go in there this is too dangerous um, so you've got to read this um, all hell breaks loose literally when Paul preaches uh, against paganism against idol worship and he preaches about the true son of God Jesus Christ and he he rocks the world of paganism and he he basically is causing people as it says here it says and many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds and they're burning all the pagan altars and everything it basically paul is cleaning house maranatha so go to acts 19 and read this awesome story of how paul is cleaning house it's a battle you guys it's a war it's literal war between good and evil have a great week